WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. We got markets in slightly positive territory. It is Fed Day. We get a decision at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, a cut of 25 basis points, all but expected. We get in a press conference, excuse me, with Chairman Powell at 2.30. Should be interesting to see what he has to say. Right now, Dow futures up 10 points, trading 27,052. NASDAQ futures up 18 points, trading at 8,073. S&P futures positive by two, trading at 3,038. Getting a little bit of action in oil, negative 18 cents at 55.36. And the 10-year yield as we come into that Fed decision, 1.826%. So we start things off. Let's take a look at the VIX this morning. Quite a number on the S&P yesterday, of course, right near record territory. We have the VIX right now trading at 13.22. Start things off. We'll jump over the charts, and of course, that S&P yesterday closed negative by two points, so not exactly a record close, but we only need to close two and a half points higher on the S&P for yet another record close. Jumping over the charts, we'll start things off with the Dow, currently trading 27,047. NASDAQ 100 trading a bit higher, 8,069. We get Apple earnings after the bell tonight, should be interesting. S&P 500, 3,037. Back things up to the close of yesterday. You're hovering right pretty much where you were, almost a point higher, basically, in the S&Ps. Crude oil market, a little bit of volatility, currently trading at $55.31. There's your gold contract, just was at a pre-market high of $14.97, currently trading at $14.94. And the euro-US dollar trading at $111.14. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, we get private payrolls this morning as well. That number coming in at 125,000. The expectation had been for about 100,000, but what kind of pairs some of that gain, some of that beat, is that September payrolls revised down by 42,000. So keep that in check. GDP number rising at 1.9% in the third quarter as consumers continued to spend. Slightly down from the 2% pace in the second quarter, a better-than-expected print was the result of continued consumer spending. Pretty remarkable. And what else you have going on out there? How about baseball? World Series, we got a Game 7 tonight. The Nationals versus the Astros. First time in the history of Major League Baseball, and I think almost any major sport, NHL as well, that all the road teams have won so far. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesamento coming up right now. It's Fed Day. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.